So we'll now create the JavaScript functionality to allow us to AJAX to this file to actually submit data and upload. But remember we have this array here, um, or this JSON encoded array here, which needs to go inside of here if we submit via an AJAX request. And we'll look at how this works later when we build the JavaScript. So let's take a look at the JavaScript file. We don't have this included on our page here, so we need to go ahead and do this now. So we choose the source, and in this case, the source is js forward slash upload.js. And we're also going to go ahead and create a script area down here, which will allow us to call the functionality inside of upload.js. So let's get rid of upload.php for now. We don't need this. And let's start to build out this application. So I'm going to create a variable uh, called app, and that's going to either be equal to app if it's already been defined or an empty object. And what we can then go ahead and do is pass it into a function. And uh, this will allow us to keep all of our um, variables and methods all within one namespace. Let's go ahead and create this function then. So what we're going to do is we're going to pass app into here. And that's going to uh, be represented by O, which means object uh, inside of our this function that we've just created. So if I was to go ahead and output this, you'd see a object basically. So I can do a console log here on O, for example. And when I refresh, we see this object. But we don't want to do that. We only want to allow something to be called uh, from this part down here. Let's go ahead and use strict. This is validated, so we use the use strict statement at the top of this. And let's go ahead and say private methods and declare the private methods that we're going to use in here. That's going to be Ajax, which will actually be Ajax into the file, the upload.php file to send the data. We're also going to have get form data and set progress. You can probably guess what these are going to do. Get form data is going to get to the files that have been chosen within this form. Ajax is obviously going to then go and send them. Set progress is going to return us the progress of the upload. Let's go ahead and define these uh, methods here then. So Ajax is going to just be a function here. We're also going to have get form data, which is obviously going to be a function again. And a, uh, not Ajax and set progress. another one there. So let's fill in what um, arguments these take. Ajax is going to take a set of data which is going to allow us to send that data uh, along with a request. We're going to have get form data that's going to be a that's going to have a source which is going to allow to be passed into it. In this case it's going to be the form that we have. And then we're going to have set progress, and that's just going to be value. All set progress is going to do is upload the progress bar and the progress text. So we'll look at that later. So with the Ajax method, this is probably the most important in terms of you know what it does, because without it, we wouldn't be able to send an HTTP request to upload.php. So let's get started on this and start to monitor it along the way. So I'm going to create a variable called XML HTTP, and this is going to be a new XML HTTP request. This won't work on older browsers, but you can easily use fallbacks to go ahead and support this. And we're also going to store a variable called uploaded. This is just going to store which files have been uploaded. So now we need to go ahead and actually open a request. So I'm going to say XML HTTP open, and that's going to open a request. It's obviously going to be post, and it's going to go to um, a specific file. Now what we need to do now is start to look back at how we're going to call this uploader because we need to provide options. So let's go ahead and just comment this out for now. And down here, I'm going to say o.uploader is a function which takes options. And I'm going to say o.options equals options. That's just going to allow that to be public. And that's it. We'll take a look at just console logging options. So let's just return to index.php and see how we would call this. 
So inside of our empty script tags that we open here, we want to just call app.uploader. So let's refresh here. You can see this is undefined at the moment because we've not actually passed any options in. So by passing an object in, that's passed that to here. And then we set O up here, the options to this here. So that means that then we have an access to options that we can use within our code. So let's define some of the options that we might want to see here. So inside of index.php, we go ahead and we need to provide a few options. Now, files is going to be the actual uh, element where the files come from. So we need to somehow select this element to be able to pass it to here. So how do we do that? Well, let's create a variable here called f, which will represent the files. We're going to say document.getElementById, and that's going to be file. Remember, file here by ID. So we can pass f into the actual files. This is going to be the files that we want to upload. We also want to define the progress bar. So this is the actual element the progress bar exists. I'm going to nickname this PB and I'm going to go ahead and do exactly the same as I've done here and say document.get element by ID. And up here we've called, ah, we haven't actually given this a ID yet. So I'm going to call this PB and I'm also going to call the, the text um, PT. So we say ID is PT. What this will allow me to do is then also define the progress text, PT. So we can tar target the pro progress bar to up, uh, update the width of this based on the actual percentage, and we can update the progress text as well. So I'm also going to define a processor, processor, and that's going to be upload.php. That's just defining which file we want to AJAX to to actually upload the files. That's the same as what we've been choosing here. So we're using this file both for the AJAX and the non-AJAX solution. What I'm also going to do is have a callback function, which is going to contain data. For now, we'll just go ahead and console log that data. So we are also going to provide the ability for an error to be passed. And we're just going to go ahead and console log not working. So we've not built any of this functionality yet. Bear in mind, these are just options contained within our array. We'll be filling these in in upload.js. So we've got the processor here. So we already know that we can start to AJAX to that. So we access options by o.options.processor. So this will now perform an AJAX request to the processor that we've defined. In this case, I want to go ahead and also say xmlhttp.send. That will just send the request. And we want to provide the data that we send along with that request as well. In this case, it's the data that's passed into the AJAX function. But where does this data come from? Well, we're not doing anything. We're not actually calling this method at all yet. So if I were to refresh here, nothing's actually happening. All you can see is uh, this being output here, uh, which is happen to be the options. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that. We'll create a quick if statement here to actually check if the files have been provided. So I'm going to say options dot, or I could even say o.options.files. If that's not undefined, we can AJAX, we call the AJAX method that we created up here, and we're going to call get form data. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to provide in uh, an empty object. So let's refresh and I'm going to go ahead and hit upload or choose a file and hit upload. So nothing's happening at the moment so we need some kind of um, event handler to only run this when we hit submit. So let's go ahead and do that here and just test how that works. So document dot get element by ID. Remember, we created an ID for the submit button earlier, so ID of submit. So we can say submit there. 
and we want to use the add event listener and we want to do that on click we have a callback here that's run so we can just test this out by console logging clicked now what's going to happen though is we're not going to really see this console log um, or you know if we're quick we'll see it when I hit upload you can see it but then it goes because we're being passed through to upload.php here so what we need to do is we need to provide in here E and what we can then do is prevent the default behavior. So now what will happen is we won't see this go through to upload.php in its natural behavior. So if I choose a file and hit upload, it just has clicked. So now we're starting to see that we can now start to process all of the files in here, which remember we've grabbed using this. Uh, in actual fact, I forgot to fill out the PT. And I also forgot to do PB in there and PT in there. So just to recall, we're passing the progress bar element and the process progress text element through to our app. So instead of console.log click, that's not very useful. We want to take all of the functionality we've already built and we want to paste this inside of here. And we'll indent this like that so now what that's going to do is it's going to get the uh, the submit element it's going to add the event listener or the click event listener prevent the default behavior grab the files that we've chosen via the multiple file uploader element get the progress bar get the progress text it's going to pass the files through the progress bar through and the progress text through and it's going to choose the processor as upload.php so once we've done finish, once we've called finish, we're going to have console.log data. We've not included that functionality at all yet. What we are doing, though, is we're calling the Ajax method uh, once we call the uploader uh, method here, which is this. So we know we've called that. We know that we've got the option stored and we know that files isn't undefined because we've defined this here. So now all we're doing is we're Ajaxing, we're sending the data here as an empty object just to test things out. We're creating a new HTTP request. We're opening this as a post. We're opening this at the processor. So what we should now see is in our browser when we hit upload is we should see a network request to upload.php. Let's test this out. So I'm going to choose the part one of this video, hit upload. We now see we've got a file uh, request to upload.php and that's gone ahead and sent an empty object so the response here or the preview is actually nothing because we're not doing anything we're not uploading any files yet we've only passed through an empty object here now instead of this being an empty object what we what do we need this to actually be well it needs to be form data that's been gathered from the files so instead of accessing uh, o.options.files, we need to access files.files because there's an uh, array within this. So let's, or an object within this rather. So let's go ahead and do a console log on, in fact, we'll pass, keep passing an empty thing here, o.options.files. So we'll see what this looks like. Well, when I refresh, choose a couple more files and hit upload, um, this is basically the element that we selected. Remember, we have files as part of the options, which is this, which is the element we upload, uh, we selected. Well, what happens if I do dot .files? Now, this is a bit confusing just because of how I've named this, but files will actually now represent the files that have actually been chosen via this element. So when I hit open and hit upload, we now see this is a file list. We've got two elements. We look inside of here, we've got a file here with all of the information that we'd expect, the type, the size, the name, and the same with the second file as well, if we just open that too. So there we go, there's all that information. So with that, we can pass that through. So if we just get rid of the console log, we can pass these files through to the get form data method within our application and pass through the files. Now get form data takes source. So remember these are the files that we're playing with. And in here we can console log the source. So we should now see the same 
um, you know, output that we would normally see in the console. If I chose these three files, hit open and hit upload, we now see a file list of three different files. Now what's left to do is actually loop through these and uh, send these as an AJAX request to the file that we're expecting to see. So there's still a little bit more we need to do, but you know, there's not too much else to do apart from send the AJAX request, listen to the stuff, and then go ahead and, and output it.